What would a world without biodiversity look like? Would you be able to live in a world without biodiversity? Biodiversity is crucial and shares a synergy with the people, functions and processes within a landscape. The inherent interconnections that exist within and between landscapes and their stakeholders mean that any interaction between them can drive landscape level changes. So when we talk about biodiversity loss, we must recognize other threats alongside it. From poverty to climate change, we have to consider every aspect of a landscape at large. Because landscape approaches spatially address conservation, production and consumption, they can be used to create evidence-based governance responses to balance economic priorities while reversing environmental degradation. With this greater understanding of both social and ecological processes, landscape approaches provide an ideal framework to understand and discuss biodiversity loss and pave the way for people to steward biodiversity in agriculture and across other sectors. So let's talk about biodiverse landscapes, a landscape approach for biodiversity. A landscape approach looks holistically at landscapes and the people that exist within them. Landscape approaches are based on a series of agreed principles such as resilience, rights, and landscape governance and aim to address issues across levels. They also provide a systems framework that can be applied to understand complex situations and to align the interests of stakeholders and manage the power dynamics between them as this may have direct impacts on local biodiversity. Specifically because of their holistic perspective, landscape approaches provide an alternative to sectoral approaches, which are not viable when addressing such complex, interconnected and system level issues, such as biodiversity loss. Global biodiversity loss is an immense challenge that must be overcome, and actionable change to address the drivers of biodiversity loss is desperately needed. Data from the World Wildlife Fund's latest Living Planet report suggests that there has been a 69% decline in the relative abundance of global animal populations since 1970. Industrial agricultural systems are major drivers of biodiversity loss worldwide, whether by the conversion of natural habitats, land, air and water pollution driven primarily by greenhouse gas emissions, or even the use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Intensification within agricultural landscapes, which eventually leads to a loss of agrobiodiversity and genetic variety, is seen not just on land, but also in marine and coastal ecosystems. So let's look to the seas and oceans, where the cumulative effects of overfishing by industrial fisheries result in the overexploitation of non commercially viable fish species. And according to the FAO, the fraction of fish stock sustainably fished has decreased to less than 65%. By providing a systems framework, landscape approaches lead to synchronous and coherent interventions. They focus on the process through which interventions are identified, designed and implemented in a participatory manner. This helps to reduce the risk of failure and increase the chances of success. Some examples of integrated landscape approaches across the world aim to address cross-sectoral challenges in different ecosystems and areas. By establishing or strengthening existing multi-stakeholder platforms, they encourage collective action such as adaptive capacity and resilience, learning and governance. Such approaches enable continued and transformative change with the involvement of all stakeholders, including you and me. Large-scale biodiversity loss is problematic not only to the ecosystems and the services they provide, but also to the agricultural systems that we rely on to sustainably feed the world. By employing a landscape approach, it is possible to gain an overall understanding of the issues we need to address so that we can influence a dynamic shift in agricultural systems, leading them to embrace biodiversity-friendly approaches and harness these approaches to create truly biodiverse landscapes.